Hey YouTube, thought we'd make a quick video here just to show how we went about splitting a plastic boat apart that had some rotten wood in it. First thing, obviously, you got to drill the rivets and remove the rub rail. Here's a picture of the tool and the blade that we used to actually split. Uh, if you can see in this next clip where it, how it was split apart, it was held together with a bunch of industrial staples so and some adhesive, marine adhesive, that we had to split apart using that uh, multi-tool. It went by pretty quickly, actually. It wasn't as tough as I thought. Here's a picture of the shell removed once we took it out. And then you'll see here what it looked like underneath where you can see the rotten wood and the styrofoam that came from the factory. So we went ahead and replaced all that wood, obviously. Uh, but it was bad. That's actually two layers. There's a piece that's also attached to where the live well is so that's double thickness in the front and the rear it was only single th thickness which was three quarter inch another video just so you can see the substructure of how that all attaches uh, the what once you get the wood remade how it attaches a couple pictures of the panels that we made that's the uh, the very front and the back and then here's the piece that where the live well sits in that also extends out over the front uh, just a little blurb on the sealer that we used. That, then we also covered it up with some gray flex seal. Uh, transom, I think, is about a, is an inch thick on this model. So it was a three-quarter and a quarter sheet that we glued together. So putting it back together was a, a little bit of a chore initially. But once we got the hang of it, it went quickly. We used uh, eighth-inch rivets to initially hold it with 3M5200 marine adhesive in between. You can also see a good picture of where those are the original factory staples. Uh, there's the rivet gun that I ordered from Harbor Freight. There's the marine sealant that we use. Stuff is gooey. Do not get it on your hands. And then there's just an image of all the rivets. that. So there was glue in between there. You can see the washer. Uh, and then I actually used a bucking bar and a, and a air hammer to flatten the underside of those pop rivets. I know you're not really supposed to do that, but it actually worked well in holding those together. Um, here's just another shot there of it, um, of it put back together. And then this kind of shows once we started putting the rub rail on, we actually used stainless steel screws and nuts to attach that in the original, most of them we went through the original holes that were there from the original rivets from the factory. So you can see that little gap where you could see <clears throat> the washers from the rivets that we sandwiched the hole back together. So what we ended up doing was running um, black flex seal down that channel, kind of brushing that in. I think the next video or the next clip will show that. Um, no, that's the actual, actual transom. Um, and there's the back view. That's what we used to purchase that at Academy to run through the hole. And this clip really shows how we masked off the, the white part, pulled the, poured the flex seal down the channel, used a brush to kind of move it around in there, but got it, it's pretty thick in there. Used about half a can uh, through that channel, let it dry for basically a day and a half, and then run a blade down that edge. And then once that's done, you can peel that blue painter's tape back and you get a nice clean edge you can see there. So we're getting close. It's basically, at that point, it was just replumbing. Uh, and there's a finished view right there, two finished views of it. So I didn't find anything on the Internet. Hopefully you guys find this helpful if you're trying to do this project.